Hello and welcome to a, a second tutorial on Blender. This one is going to look at the edit mode and how you can create new shapes and then change those shapes into the thing, whatever it was that you wanted to make. So here we have Blender all there. If there is a video that comes before this, it explains some of the basic stuff about the user interface and how to scroll and move around. But in the bottom left hand corner over here, you will see the keys I'm pressing. So here we have in Blender, when you open it up, you get your default cube. Now you start off making anything in Blender from what are called primitives, which are basic shapes that you then edit and manipulate to create the thing that you want to create. So you can start off with a cube. So if I can click the cube and delete it and then press shift A. Shift A brings up this menu here with all sorts of stuff I can add, like cameras and lights and armatures, which are for animation. But what we're going to look at today is meshes. And you can create cubes, panes and circles, which are just flat 2D shapes, uh, two kinds of sphere, a UV sphere and an eco sphere. One is based on squares, one's based on triangles, cylinders, cones, and a monkey head called Suzanne, who's sort of the mascot of Blender. But let's start off. We, let's start off with a UV sphere today. So you start it up, you will notice down here a little box appears and if you click that you can change the resolution to make it almost sort of triangular to something insanely complicated. Uh, I'll start off with just 32 today so all the and the various sizes with those sliders. So that's what that does. So you've created your shape and if you want to edit it we have to go into what's called edit mode which you can either go through this drop down menu here or tab will get us in and out of edit mode. So in edit mode, you'll see suddenly you can look at your object and pan, well, pan around it, but you can grab the little points, the vertices, and if you were to press G, you can start moving them around like this. Make a sort of little hedgehog, whatever it is you want to do. Um, you do sometimes end up dragging them in strange directions because of the way 2D things represent, or 3D things represent on a 2D surface. But uh, that's the basic, simplest way to move something around, is to grab something. You don't have to select just the vertices. With this menu here, we could face select and grab a whole face. Or I could edge select or grab a whole edge. Or, holding down shift, grab several edges and move those around. So that's one of the, the basic things you can do. But let's say you want to do a bit more. Let's say you wanted to start off, I'm just using the numpad keys to go into orthographic top-down view. I want to select a whole section of the cube, let's say these ones here. I'd have no idea what I'm making. And I want to make them poke out. E, pressing E, will extrude them and I can extrude and I can move it around with G and extrude and move it around and there we go and you end up with some weird shapes that's basically extruding pull stuff out a second let's go back to get another shape so let's come out of edit mode delete it shift a go on to the cube and now I've got my cube now one thing you often have to do is so cubes are quite boring unlike the sphere there's not a lot of bits i can add sometimes we need to do what is called adding more geometry adding more corners faces edges to a shape and i can do that in a number of ways one of the best ways is with control and r and whilst holding that down or well, press control and r then these little yellow lines appear and these are what are called loop cuts so i could add a loop cut here and then i can decide where along that edge the loop cut exists and now let's go back to vertices select i have more vertices i could select if i wanted to and i could do all sorts of things with this if i'd wanted to as well i could have selected if we just go back when i did my loop cut if i scroll my mouse wheel up i can get loads of loop cuts and i've got loads of geometry to play with and i could select different bits and move it if I want to move it in a particular direction as well, see up here we have the Y axis pointing that way. If I press get Y, it just moves it along the Y axis. Or if I select these ones and press get Z, moves it like that. And I can start creating more interesting shapes and I could add more geometry, select some, extrude them or extrude them. You can extrude in as well as out. 
you start making interesting shapes like that. I mean, I don't know what this is. But if that's a thing you wanted to make, that is, this is the tutorial for making a weird shape. Well, actually, let's combine some of those techniques, shall we, to make something maybe that could be a bit more useful. I 3D print a lot of stuff, so these tutorials will be aimed at that. So let's, let's put some edges along this shape. And let's do something. If we want to select a load of edges or faces at the same time, if they all sort of flow in one direction, instead of going around and clicking and shift, hold, shift, click like this, I can alt and click and get a whole area to be selected. Or I could alt click, just do it on the edge and you can select different bits. So let's alt click one. And then what I could do is extrude the whole area. Now, if I extrude and just press extrude, it doesn't quite know what to do. It's extruding up and down. It's creating some weird geometry. But if I were to do extrude and scale, I could scale it in or scale it out. Let's do extrude and scale that bit. Let's select this whole edge. In fact, no, let's select this whole top edge up here. Oh no. Let's select all these top edges. Let's S for scale them in. Let's add another, some more geometry, loop cuts in different ways. And then we could extrude and scale that bit up. And you start to end up with what could also be a thing again. So we could extrude and scale this. But when I extrude it there, if I, here's another trick. Extrude and scale and then press shift. And the axis you don't want it to scale on. And now I'm scaling in all axes apart from Z or up. And I get this sort of, I don't know, it could be a plinth for something. It could be a useless box. There you go. That is more like the kind of thing that you might like. There you go. Uh, more tutorials to come pretty soon with even more edit mode tools. See you later. Like the video, follow me around. Press the bell, it makes no sound. Like the video, press subscribe. I don't know why I am alive.